Good morning, this is Professor Hoi. This is a beautiful day in the Sky Song neighborhood. So today we're going to learn something about electricity. We are going to learn what electric charges are. So Sharon, why just come on over? We're going to do a hair raising experience. And so we're going to rock the balloons rigorously against Sharon's her hair. And then we're going to just lift up her hair. And you see basically her hair all standing up uh, against the balloon, okay? What we just saw is a phenomenon of static electricity. The Greek discovered that more than 2,000 years ago when they tried to rub amber against glass and found that it was able to attract uh, stuff coming up because of static electrostatic attraction. Now, today we're going to explain what charges are. And the basic unit for electric charge is a coulomb, C-O-U-L-O-M-B. And one coulomb contains 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons. So if you look at the inverse of that, one electron would have an electric charge of 1 over 6.24 times 10 to the 18 Coulomb and therefore is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb. Now, electron actually is, say, for the hydrogen atom, in, in the center is the proton, and the electron orbits around the proton. One electron has a mass of 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 uh, kilogram. So it's very light. And the electron is separated from a proton at a distance of about 10 to the minus 10 meter, which is 1 m strong. Today we're going to study the Coulomb's law, which studies the electrostatic force between a positive charge and a negative charge which Q1 Coulomb for the positive charge and Q2 Coulomb for the negative charge. And these two charges are separated by a distance of R. Coulomb's law states that the force acting between the two charge masses is equal to K times Q1 Q2 divided by R squared. And this force is an attractive force between the two charges. In this case here, K is equal to 9 times 10 to the uh, 9 Newton Coulomb uh, meter square divided by Coulomb square. So if we have this charge of Q1 equal to 1 Coulomb, if this is equal to 1 Coulomb, and this is also equal to 1 Coulomb, and if D is equal to a distance of 1 meter, then what we have is that F would be equal to 10 to the uh, 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter square per, uh, Coulomb square times 1 Coulomb times 1 Coulomb divided by 1 meter square. And what you have is after all the cancellation of the units, and the meters cancels out, what you have is that the electrostatic force between the two oppositely charged uh, charges is an attractive force that is roughly is given by 10, 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton, uh, a force which is almost 10 billion Newton attracted to two forces. It's a huge amount of forces. So today's exercise involves calculating the force between the proton and the electron in the hydrogen atom. So what you're going to do is that you would have to plug in the formula F equal to K times Q1, Q2 divided by R square, with K being 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square, Q1 equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb, Q2 the same but of opposite charge, and R being 10 to the minus 10 meter. If you plug in all the numbers, you're going to find an, uh, the answer to be roughly equal to 10 to the minus 8 Newton. 
A Newton is a force that causes a kilogram to accelerate at a acceleration rate of one meter per second squared. Even though this seems to be a very small number, because the electron has such a small mass, you would find that the electron is so attracted to the proton that it will accelerate at a very high velocity towards the center of the nucleus. That presents a problem with the classical model of mechanics, which predicts that the electron would rapidly collapse into the proton of the hydrogen molecule. And this problem is not solved until we discover quantum mechanics.